if I could say a million ants, mm -hmm. but it would cost the life of one human being, would that be a good thing? When you make these hypothetical calculations, it ignores that you c the real situation is, do you kill a chicken or just not? Yeah, what you're doing is you're pitting. No, but so, okay, we, so, well, I, who, who cares? Okay, would you save this? Say, would you I save Hitler or Osama bin Laden from a burning building? I don't care. You're, you're equating their rights to human rights. And I, yeah, we think they're a logical extension of. Questionable. Well, let me. Uh, that's a, a questionable assumption that you well, very much have to defend. Okay, so, we will defend that. Uh, uh, if you had the chance to be born into this world or not, as a wars. Uh, and that depended on whether or not there were uh, 9 million horses or 100 horses. Which would you rather be? Would you rather be born into a world where horses or chickens were humanely treated, but there were lots of them? Well, it's a false dichotomy. The vegan argument is to not breed animals. Yeah, I know, but see, that's the point. Those genes, then. Oh, if I was to be born as a slave, I'd rather it was a nice slave plantation than a horrible uh, one. Who, who cares? Yeah, that's slave. Like, yeah, you're yeah. moving away from the premise. No, I'm not. Your I, argument is that, oh, this is okay because know, an animal would be know, rather you born you into nice say, slavery. You could, say, you could say the same thing about human beings. It's I could. Better. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying, look, maybe, maybe we should have no people. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, that's, <laughs> radical. that's radical. Well, let's stick I mean, to the point, because we still haven't heard from you the morally relevant difference between humans and animals that justifies breeding one and slitting their throats and not I the other. I think, I believe in transcendent values. I believe okay. that human beings are made in the image and likeness of God. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Right, the God. Okay, now okay. if you were to find out objectively tomorrow that you were not made in the image of God, would it be okay for someone to slit your throat? I wouldn't be right. Uh, that would not be efficient. That's uh, I'm, <laughs> would it be right? It be right. <laughs> uh, I, no, it wouldn't. It, it's not a question of right or wrong. Well, it is a question. That's why we're here talking to you. It's a question of right or wrong. No, it's not because if you have no objective right or wrong, it's all a function okay. of establishing rules that maximize well uh, happiness. You're you're in the Jeremy Bentham world where the maximum good mm -hmm. is the maximum welfare of people in general. The most, the best value, the best world is where most people are better off. But it's very hard then at that point to draw an arbitrary line around one set of genes. Why should I care, place any value about the, your, you know, however million or billion cells in your brain why should i place any value on well you can have morality without god no you, you uh, have empathy you Will can you... have efficiency but if you don't have god you okay. cannot have objective if you, morality all right okay if, if you were an atheist would you rape no but, I but could... so there's something stopping you from raping right efficiency yeah. it's efficiency, efficiency. Exactly. i don't rape because it's, it's efficient. efficient exactly that by the way that is a, what that by the way <laughs> is the biggest. nothing about the victim not wanting to be raped it's about, not how efficient how about this yeah, but, but but wait a second Hold why on. do we care about that individual because and i have empathy because i'm not a psycho Jeremy bentham said and you don't know the rule, you, you, right? you say, how about the golden rule do unto others as you would want them yeah, to but what, what okay is that that so, has so, so no, so no, so no objective on. so if i'm sentient and feeling and everything right. why would i subject someone else to something that i wouldn't want done to myself why would I do that? Why, why not? If it makes what you, you happy, because there is... It wouldn't no make me happy, because I'm not a psycho. You know what Jeremy Bentham said about rights? What did he say? He said it's nonsense on stilts. Okay. Okay. How does that justify you eating a chicken? Because, we're going because, here and... because I'm the one who's right. prepared to draw a transcendental difference. But you can't prove your transcendental difference. So I you can. you think you have objective morality, okay. but you I can't objectively say, prove. Octopus okay. God, yeah. so I can eat humans. Yeah. There you go. Done. I, I think that I can defend my beliefs. I can defend my octopus God. Then. Yeah. Uh, my says I can eat you. That's fine. Using a preponderance of evidence. So I'm just presupposing uh, stuff like you are. Yeah. And look, the human beings are are not just in degree, but are fundamentally different from other 
animals, okay? So then, so then. Oh, we're the same in the ways the that world. matter. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're the same in the ways that matter. We're different. We're not talking we about suffer, pain. we feel pain, we have okay. sentience, okay. we want to live. If I have a world in which animals are raised and harvested in a less painful, in a way that minimizes pain, there are more animals going to live. If you were the genes in pigs, chickens, horses, whatever, you would want that world. Well, no, because they, they're, they're not. Back. You're, you're creating. Back to the Do you think that one. those animals are thankful that you breed them as slaves to be murdered? You no, know, but if you're. As opposed to not existing at all. Yeah. Do you think and the pig I, walks into the gas chamber and goes, oh, this is nicer than the. Uh, well, uh, yeah, at least this right guy from Speaker's yeah. Corner <laughs> read me. As far as I know, all, uh, all uh, animals are going to die. Have, uh, so, but, but so are all humans. So, it's, but as far as I know, all animals are are happier for having. Are they? If they would, <laughs> if they would have a chance. To have, obviously, if there's be. if there's non-existence, there's no happier, okay, sadder. So but let me ask you there's no this. suffering. Your morality ultimately <laughs> depends on randomness. It depends. Sure, so does yours. You picked a random god from the millions that existed. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because Why don't you believe in Quetzalcoatl and say, I can fly over your city and, and, and shoot flames at the people below? Your morality, product of randomness, is uh, arbitrary. Well, we think yours is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you want to leave but, it there? Well, well sure. Yeah, that's where you want to leave and it. And ours has got a basis in reality because yeah. it's based on actual provable yeah. things. If, if we no, said, based on yeah, Sky Wizard, I can write yeah, because yeah, the Loch Ness yeah, Monster yeah, says so. Yeah. That's your moral system. I do believe we should minimize the pain of ch uh, chickens in a efficient way. Uh, we have a way to completely eliminate that. But oh, yeah. not because, <laughs> because... Do you not just think veganism is the most efficient way to stop animal I'm, suffering? If you like efficiency... I, I, I'm very, very <laughs> sceptical. But that. then we don't believe your point about efficiency because you want to design a system where animals will be mass murdered and just hope, you're just hoping that, oh, the suffering will be low. That's not efficient. Hmm. That's just throw it. That's just a yeah, shot no, in the dark. Actually, eliminate the suffering. So just, I just got a sad email from my son. He has this rabbit. But yesterday, he took it to the vet and it was okay. Was that involved? If it was in the rabbit's best interest, then potentially, you know, euthanasia even among vegans of animals is like a bit of a contested topic. But we're not talking here about rabbits in immense pain being put down to alleviate their suffering. We're talking here about healthy pigs being put in gas chambers and screaming as their lungs burn with gas. We're talking about chickens being crammed in cages, having their throats cut. We're talking about lambs being packed onto ships for live export. Why don't we just stick to that? Yeah, because Because that's what you're funding. When you <laughs> eat your dinner tonight, that's what you're going to pay for. And why? The art cases are really important to understand. They're completely irrelevant though, because you're not supporting that. You're not supporting yeah. merciful euthanasia. Yeah, have a question about it when you have a rabbit and you need to make that decision. Here's the question, where are you eating dinner tonight? Do, what are you planning to eat? I, I may well have fish. I've been okay. having a lot of fish. Right, okay. Now, you need to consider when you go into that sh store tonight or the restaurant that a, a sentient being has been pulled out of the ocean with a hook in their cheek and is suffocated to death on, on a ship. And you could just choose a different yeah, or option. Or raised in some farm where well, okay. otherwise wouldn't have existed at all. Right, and, and probably because if you look at fish farming in extremely squalid, cramped conditions. And... Yeah. So, okay. our own pieces. yeah. I don't think you've explained why it'd be bad to just stop the suffering. Why would that be a bad thing? Uh, if no animal suffered, why would that be bad? Because I suspect that <laughs> efficiency uh, <laughs> it would reduce uh, the health and the, and, uh, the reality. But what's your you evidence for that? You just want to eat no, animals because it tastes not. good. That's it. You don't <laughs> care about the health stuff and all that. Why does any of this matter? Why? And that's because we don't want to be in the victim's Why? position. We're going to go around in circles here. No, your only argument back is if it doesn't matter, we might as well go around and just like everyone up. Your only argument back is we're going to... I'll tell you why it matters. <laughs> because the Loch Ness Monster commanded me to be <laughs> vegan. <laughs> that's your <reminds me. laughs>